given a is equal to a b c and b equal to 2 and 3 find the number of relationship from a to b here we see that number of elements in a are 3 number of elements in b are 2 so the number of relationship from a to b is equal to their products which is 3 into 2 equal to 6 you can verify this from the below ordered set here also we see there are 6 relations or 6 ordered pair given 3 sets a b and c verify the identity so we'll first start with the left hand side we see that it's a product of a and b intersection c so first we find out b intersection c which is just one element 11 and then we'll take the product with a as a has three elements and b has one element the product will have three ordered pair then on the right hand side we see we have to find out a product b and its intersection with a product c so first we find out a product b which is three elements from a and three elements from b giving us nine elements then a cross c where we have three elements in a and two elements in c giving us product of six elements and then we take the intersection of these highlighted items so which is 7 11 8 11 and 9 11 which is same as the left hand side given three sets a b c verify the identity on the left hand side we have a product b union c so we'll first find out b union c which is 9 10 11 12 and then take a product with a as a has three elements and b union c four elements so we get total of 12 elements on the right hand side we have union of a product b and a product c so first we find out a product b then a product c and then take the union so here we see that rhs is equal to lhs which of the following represents function in each of the case x belongs to r y represents a function we have to see that for any given x we are able to find out a unique y take the first case where y is equal to 2x plus 3 divided by 4 minus 5x and x is not defined at 4 by 5 for any x we'll get a unique y so this is a function similar is the case for b c d and e for all these cases for any given x we'll be able to get a unique y but for the last case x square plus y square equal 25 which represents a circle for each x we will get more than one y so this is not a function write domain and range of the following function we know that uh, for any ordered pair domain is the first element and range is the second element so here in this example uh, red color item that is first element is domain and the green items are the second element that is the range so for this case 0 2 4 6 is the domain and range is 1 3 5 7 up to 101 second example here we see that minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 are the domain and 4 16 36 are range same way the third function we take the first element as domain and second element as range but here we see that the range is only one and minus one it keeps repeating so the range is limited to only two items minus one and one fourth case here the domain is three minus one four and the range is zero two minus one for the fifth case we see that uh, the domain is on the negative side and also on the positive side because we see it's minus three minus two minus one zero one two but the range is limited only to the positive numbers that it is 0 1 2 and 3 write domain of the following function f of x is equal to x cube for all values of x we will be able to get f of x hence in this case the domain is r second case f of x is equal to 1 upon x square minus 1 we know that at x equal to plus 1 or minus 1 x square minus 1 will become 0 so f of x is not defined at x equal to plus 1 or minus 1 hence domain is r minus the ordered set of 1 and minus 1 f of x is equal to under root of 3x plus 1 this will be defined only when 3x plus 1 is greater than equal to 0 because of an under root that is 3x plus 1 has to be greater than equal to 0 or x has to be greater than or equal to minus 1 by 3 
therefore domain is x such that x is greater than equal to minus 1 by 3. Write domain of the following function f of x is equal to 1 upon under root of x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 6. For f of x to have real values, x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 6 has to be greater than 0. So this is possible in two scenarios. First is when x plus 1 and x plus 6 both are greater than 0. We can solve and get the x. So we find that x is greater than minus 1 and x is greater than minus 6. Now this is an AND condition. So x can meet both the conditions only when x is greater than minus 1. Second case when both x plus 1 and x plus 6 is less than 0. So we can again solve here x. x has to be less than minus 1 and x has to be less than minus 6. Both the conditions can be met only when x is less than minus 6. So domain for this case is x has to be greater than minus 1 or x has to be less than minus 6. Write domain of the following function f of x is equal to 1 upon under root of x minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 5. Here to have real values of f of x, x minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 5 has to be greater than 0. So we get two conditions. First, both x minus 1 and 2x minus 5 has to be greater than 0 we can get x from this and we find that x has to be greater than 1 and x has to be greater than 5 by 2. Now both AND conditions can be met only when x is greater than 5 by 2. Second case, when both x minus 1 and 2x minus 5 are less than 0. Here we get x has to be less than 1 and x has to be less than 5 by 2. Again both the conditions can be met only when x is less than 1. So the domain for this case is x has to be less than 1 or x has to be greater than 5 by 2. Right range for the below functions. y is equal to 3x plus 2. x belongs to R. So for any x belonging to R, we can see that we will get y which will belong to R. So the range is R. y is equal to 1 upon x minus 2 where x belongs to R minus 2 because at 2 y is not defined. So here the range will be r except 0 because y cannot become 0 at any value of x. So range is r minus 0. y is equal to x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 where x belongs to 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. So to get y for this we can calculate y at each x. So for x equal to 0 we get minus 1. Similarly for x equal to 2, 3, 5, 7 we can calculate and then we'll get that the range is minus 1, 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4 and 4 by 5. y is equal to 2 by under root of x and x belongs to positive r. Here we'll see that because x belongs to positive, we are taking positive under root. So the range will be also r plus. Draw the graph of each of the following function. So first is y is equal to x square plus 3. So we see it is x square, x square is symmetric about y and then it's shifted by plus 3. y is equal to 1 upon x minus 2 and x belongs to r minus 2 because at 2 y is not defined. So we, we get the graph, it's an inverse graph because it is 1 upon x format and then at 2 it goes towards infinity. Third y is equal to x minus 1 by x plus 1 where x belongs to 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. So we can calculate the value of y at each of these points because it is not a range or interval, it's a specific point. So our y will also be specific points. y is equal to 1 upon root x where x belongs to r plus. So same way we can draw this by putting all the values and we see that as x is very close to 0, y becomes infinity and x increases, y becomes smaller and smaller. Which of the following graph represents function? So to test it, we can draw a vertical line and if that vertical line cuts a graph at more than one point, then that graph is not a function. For example here, if we draw a vertical line like this or this, we see that in the first case it cuts only at one point whereas in the second case it cuts at both the lines. First one represents a function 
and second one is not a function same way we can apply the test at third fourth and all the cases so we get that a c e f and h are functions which of the following functions are rational functions rational functions are defined as those functions which can be expressed as a ratio of two polynomial functions f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 by x plus 2 here both numerator and denominator are polynomial and this is expressed as a ratio so this is a rational function f of x is equal to x by root of x here in the denominator we have root x so this is not a polynomial function and hence this is not a rational function f of x is equal to x plus 2 by x square plus 4 x plus 4 here both numerator and denominator are polynomial functions hence this is a rational function y equal to x this is not a rational function as there is no denominator which of the following functions are polynomial function f of x is equal to x square plus root of 3x plus 2 so here we see x has power of 2 1 so this is a polynomial function f of x is equal to x plus 2 whole square here x plus 2 whole square can be expressed as x square plus 2x plus 4 and it has power of 2 and 1 so this is a polynomial function same way third case is also polynomial function but the fourth case has a x under root so it is not a polynomial function the fifth case is also expressed as an under root of x square minus 4 so even this is not a polynomial function which of the following are odd or even function we know that a function is said to be an even function if for each x f of minus x is equal to f of x that is it is symmetrical about y axis else it is called an odd function so f of x is equal to under root of 9 minus x square here if we replace x by minus x we'll get the same function so this is an even function same way f of x is equal to x square minus 1 by x square plus 1 this also if we replace x by minus x we'll get the same function f of x is equal to absolute value of x this is also an even function whereas f of x is equal to x minus x raised to 5 is an odd function because if we replace here x by minus x uh, our equation will become minus x minus minus x raised to 5 so our equation will become minus x plus x raised to 5 hence this is an odd function now we have few graphs uh, here if we see the test was that it should be symmetrical along y axis so if we see the case e is not symmetrical where f and g are symmetrical so f and g are even function and e is an odd function let f be a function defined by f of x is equal to 5 x square plus 2 here we have to find out the value of f when x is equal to 3 then find out uh, f3 multiplied by f2 and then find out x which will give us a value of 22 we will substitute x is equal to 3 in f of x so we will get 5 multiplied by 3 square plus 2 which is equal to 47 for the second case we will find out the value of f of 2 which will be 22 we already already have f of 3 equal to 47 so f3 multiplied by f2 is equal to 1034 third question we are given f of x equal to 22 and we have to find out x so we'll solve this equation by substituting f of x as 5 x square plus 2 equal 22 solving this we'll get x square is equal to 4 so x is equal to plus minus 2 let f of x and g of x be two real functions and we have to find out sum difference product and division of these function so f plus g when we can do that we can just substitute f of x and g of x and we'll get uh, f plus g equal to 3x minus 1 same way for f minus g we can substitute the values and solve it we'll get it as minus x plus 5 f dot g we substitute f of x and g of x and solve the product and we get it as 2x square plus x minus 6 for f divided by g when we substitute the values we get x plus 2 divided by 2x minus 3 and this cannot be simplified further also when x is equal to 3 by 2 the numerator will become 0 and the function f by g will not be defined hence x is not equal to 3 by 2 
given f of x and g of x two real valued functions find the following function f plus g is equal to so we'll substitute here f of x and g of x which is 2x plus 5 plus x square minus 1 and simplify it same way f minus g we can substitute the values and simplify it for f dot g we multiply both the things and when we solve it we get 2x cube minus 2x plus 5x square minus 5 we rearrange it and we get the answer for f by g when we substitute f by fx and gx we will not be able to simplify it further also at x equal to plus minus 1 x square minus 1 becomes 0 so this function is not defined at x equal to plus minus 1 same way for g by f x square minus 1 by 2x plus 5 this cannot be simplified further also at x equal to minus 5 by 2 the function will not be defined